Hi, I'm recording this to demonstrate how to use a pipe tool set I designed. It's a collection of tools aimed at improving workflow with multi-layer XRs in Fusion, making it easier to manage connections and update renders from 3D software painlessly. The timing is somewhat unfortunate, as Blackmagic has updated the handling of multi-layer XRs in Fusion 20, uh, but I hope those tools can still find a place in your workflow. Let's start with importing this sequence into Fusion. Uh, it's split into Cryptomates, Data and all other image AOVs. I will drop it into Fusion with Control, check out Control drop on Reactor. And now when we have it, let's create a pipe group. Let's press Control alt p you can call it whatever you want and a uh, common root path for all these renders will be derived. Pipe node contains data about all the loaders in the group, but those are not all the AOVs that are on the, in those files. So let's fix that. Click manage group and this window will pop up. Uh, and now you can just click update all. This will essentially work like host split AXR Ultra. Now you have a way to connect to any of those loaders on the list from the pipe node or its copies. This is how I build the composition based on pipe. Uh, I'm leaving the loaders here and connecting to passes I need through the pipes. Here I'm using it with Cryptomates or with data. Now when we want to update to new renders, let's just go to one of the pipes, click Manage Group. Uh, here you can choose what group you're working on, set start frames, set missing frames behavior, but what we want to do is to uh, click browse and search for a new render. Let's choose version 4 and open and update all. This will update all pipes in this group, create new list and if new XR has more AOVs, fix any mismatch XR parts for renders like Redshift, where previously generic part names like subimage1, subimage2 were not correctly matched. If naming of your files is consistent, you can also change the version here and update it like this. If you're interested in Fusion, Houdini or TD Fundamentals content, consider sticking around by subscribing. Explore the projects I've contributed to on Behance and let me know in the comments what would you like to learn. For now that's it, goodbye.